Hello, I am Denise and today I will show you how to set up Wim system wide in Mac OS. So, when programming, I discovered uh, I discovered that the Wim Wim editor in the terminal. So you can use different key bindings like command down, command up, curly brackets to move through code, and it's pretty convenient. But the problem with this is that it's only available in shell and not in, for instance, in visual code or IntelliJ. So there are options to enable Wim modes in, in these two programs, but you would need to enable uh, plugins for these. And these plugins would still be contained in these two applications and, and you wouldn't have Wim mode, for instance, in the browser. So for this reason, I created an application called called TIWIM. It's bim.tonisivest.com. Uh, it, it adds an Wim mode indicator to a screen, and then you have a key. You can set the key binding, for instance, like Control or or Shift, which uh, which will enable the Wim mode or the visual mode. And in Wim mode, you have all the all the normal uh, Wim key bindings available like H, J, K, L, back, forward, end of line, and uh, beginning of the line. Also visual mode for selecting. You can control the indicator in different ways. And uh, so I will show you how to install this uh, TI Wim. Um, you can try it free for seven days. Uh, after that, you need to uh, you need to buy it. After you have bought the app, you can you will get the link to go to the downloads. And uh, here you have two options. If you if you're using Carabiner already, so DIVM uses Carabiner in the background. So Carabiner is is like a um, service in Mac OS that listens your key bindings and then maps them to other other key bindings. This is the, the service that TIV uses in the background. If you have it installed already, then you should download the zip file, which will only have the in indicator app. But if you don't have Carabiner, you can download the damage file, which I will do now. So you can see the whole installation process. I have TIVM installed right now, so I will install it in the app. Okay, I, I need to restart my computer. Okay, I uninstalled the TIVM now and I will reinstall it. So, this is then like installer package. You open it and it will automatically install everything in the computer. You see the indicator already appeared here. So, but uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, enable the like, add permissions for Carabiner. So these permissions are only used to intercept the key bindings and then like for instance intercept the control and or your Wim key binding to activate the Wim mode or, or visual mode. So open the security preferences. Security and privacy. The first one is the virtual carabiner virtual HID device device. I can use the Apple Watch to approve. Allow and the next two ones are the are the demons that run in the background. So enable these as well. Okay. Move the bin. And now you can open the app already. So you can see the indicator here disappears when you when you mouse over it. You can control the indicator's position, so bottom, top. I like top middle, you can control the alpha and you can control the size. 
and here you can set the um, uh, like the win mode activation key uh, it's a, there are different options here like option shift control or caps lock and and then if you, if you press the if you press the key then so maybe if you, if you have some problems you would need to restart uh, restart the carabine and the daemon sometimes it doesn't work okay so now it started working uh, this app, it, it works uh, it works very well and but, but sometimes uh, in the startup you can you can restart the daemon and it will start working so now you have Vim mode available system wide. For instance, if you go to the browser, you can write like "Hello world" and go to the go to the Vim mode. Now indicator shows Vim mode, and you can use P to go back, E to go forward. You can go to visual mode, press back back, and character D to delete. So it's it's available everywhere. So previously we showed. So the visual code, you can use the brackets, brackets to navigate the code, and go to visual mode to select H H A K L to, to move around in code. So what are available? Uh, what key bindings are available? Not not all are available. So in the, in the app you can see the active modifications tab. Here you can see that uh, like the to toggle to start the Vim mode or the visual mode and in, in visual mode you have the nav code navigation forward back GTA the brackets and the deletions you can yank the line you can yank like character forward character back you can copy the line you can delete and and so on so these are the things that are available uh, for me, they are they are enough, and yeah, I, I use the TRVM every day. It's it's, it's very useful. I, I don't have to manage different plugins for for Visual Studio and IntelliJ separately. Okay, and as a last tip, so maybe for more experienced people, uh, if, if if maybe you need like a special key. Like if some some key is not here that you would want for the pin key, then you would need to go to the uh, to your home directory and carabiner config. And here you can set uh, like you can configure it however you like. So for instance, maybe add new insert or new new nav navigation style or navigation modes or or whatever you, you can think of and like, to, to find out how to use it you need to go to the to the Carabiner GitHub and there, there you would find like uh, the, the key codes and, and and how to how to parse this format okay that's that's all that I wanted to talk about have a good day happy happy coding